Hello everybody, my name is Austin CS, and this is Fistful of Frags. So, right, I, I, I'll just create the server. Um, I'll explain what I'm doing later. Test, password, start. Okay, I'm playing with bots, by the way, so, yeah. So, today is October 22nd, 2016. Tomorrow is my birthday. Um, so... I decided as a little birthday present to myself, I would pick up a, a game, a free game, on Steam, and just play it. Play it for a couple hours and see how it how it played. Um, and I picked up something so good that I actually decided to make a video on it. A completely unedited video because, you know, it's my birthday. Um, but a video nonetheless. This is Fistful of Frags, and this is the best first-person shooter ever made. Um, it is a lot of fun. Right. What's the gist of this? Let's actually go back to the uh, create server. Yep. Right, so uh, you have a lot of maps, quite a few here, um, which is good, which is very, very good. Uh, you can have bots, so you can play this single player. Uh, there's default bots. Uh, you can create custom scripts. Only fists and only sawn off are the available. Default fists and sawn off are the default, then you add other script. Anyway. Uh, map courses, whatever, I don't know what that does. Team play means teams. Teams are weird in this. Teams are like, uh, there are four teams, right? Um, however, the people on your team aren't your enemies, but they're not your friends either. They're like, they're, blah, 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 blah. they're just sort of, they're, they're people you can't kill. The people on your teams are simply people who you can't kill and people who can't kill you. That, that's really all they are. Um, everyone is sort of competing individually, so teams really doesn't matter. But I think that's a pretty interesting mechanic, you know. Uh, so, let's play. Let's introduce you to this thing. I'm gonna do that. There are four teams. Vigilantes, Desperados, Banditos, Rangers, uh, and Spectator. As well as a little how to play button here. Tutorials. Yep. Um, I'm gonna choose the Rangers because they're dressed quite dapperly. This is my, uh... Loadout, I have the SW Schofield, which I'll explain later. Quick draw, uh, lets you, oh, uh, lets you switch weapons faster. Brass Knuckles increases your punch damage, and left-handed increases your accuracy uh, when you're using a handgun, which the Schofield is. Now, why do I use the Schofield? What is the Schofield, first off? It's a little uh, revolver that holds five bullets. Uh, as you can see in the top, not not top in the bottom left sort of bottom middle left is uh on top of my gun model is the five or five circles five white circles if i you know spend a bullet if i fire one one of those circles will turn red if i reload then that circle will turn back to white ah now why am i using the Schofield? it is accurate it is accurate as heck um this is its standing accuracy, 88%. Normally, standing accuracies are like, I don't know, 70, 60 or 70, 60 to like 80%. So 88% is pretty freaking good. Um, crouching accuracy is much better, 91%, uh, which is pretty darn, pretty darn good. Um, and it also does quite a bit of damage despite, well, it has only five bullets in a sort of, I don't want to say clip, but that's really the only really thing. I don't know what that thing's, drum? Five bullets in a drum? Is that what it's called? A little revolvey thing? Ah! Um, five bullets in your revolvey thing? I don't know. But, uh, but it's, it's still a very good gun. I, I very much like it. It's a lot of fun to use, and this game is a lot of fun to play. So, um, yes, I'm also using left-handed mode because it, increases accuracy. You can also move your gun to your right hand, but the crosshair doesn't look as good and it's not as accurate. So, wow, that was a good shot. Um, now, accuracy. Accuracy is key in this game. Um, uh, what should I explain? What should I explain? Uh, your score is not based on kills. It isn't based on kills at all. It's based on notoriety. It's, which is how good your kills are. It's not based on how many kills you people you've killed it's how good those kills were 
For example, you get extra points for shooting someone's hat off. Uh, hat, not head. Um, you... I, yeah, you, you just get extra points for being sort of creative with your killing method. Um, actually, I should explain more about the Schofield. Since it's a revolver, it also has a sort of quick fire ability. Um, if I hold down the secondary fire button and then hold down left click, you can fire off five, all five in quick succession. Also, uh, this is a little neat thing. Um, when reloading, uh, it, uh, other revolvers have you reload one bullet at a time. Um, whereas at this one, it doesn't matter if you've just taken one, just, uh, fired one, or fired all five. It takes exactly the same amount of time to reload. So with other revolvers, um, y it takes longer depending on... Takes longer based on how many shots you fired. In this one, you just replace all the shots at once, so, you know... It, it doesn't it doesn't take longer um, it also does take longer if you haven't spent as many bullets so ooh, balancing um, I'm going to start off this train and open this crate because this crate this is a gold crate this has very very useful stuff in it like a sharps rifle uh, the most powerful weapons are in gold crates ooh I don't particularly like that what don't I particularly like I don't know I just said I don't particularly like that and that's that's it um, oh gosh, um, yeah, <laughs> gold weapons are very powerful, uh, and the train is very, very, very difficult to walk on, uh, so I'm gonna jump off the train and shoot people with my gold weapon. Ah, no, no, nah. <sighs> darn it, when you die, you lose all your weapons, you go back to your, well, not all your weapons, you go back to what your, uh, loadout, your initial loadout. Uh, if you... Barrels, by the way, take two shots to explode. But if you um, have your fist selected or out and if you're using your hands and you press E or whatever your use key is on an object, you can pick it up. And I wanted to use it on that guy, but sure. The barrel on that guy. Nope, he's on my team. Uh, I kind of forget who's on my team and who's not. Uh, luckily, it shows you that little X over your crosshair, and you can't hurt them, so that's very nice. Ah, I was just about to shoot it, too. Okay, um, I'm not very good at this game. Uh, doubly so, because I'm talking, so I'm distracted by y'all. Ooh, that's a neat mechanic that I should... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, um, what was I saying? Neat mechanics. Ah. Uh, da, 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 whiskey, 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 whiskey. Um. You, if you, what's it called? Lose health. I, I'm very scatterbrained today because I am. I'm always scatterbrained. This is why I edit my videos. Uh, but I'm not editing this because it's my birthday and I don't want to go through editing. Editing is the least po uh, is the worst part of making a YouTube video. But uh, if I get damaged by someone, shoot me, please. Thank you. Uh, then you can drink whiskey to regain your health. Problem is, that makes you very, very drunk. Uh, that's not me moving my cursor around. That's not me moving my view around. That's the game. Um, it makes, yeah, it messes with your interface. Uh, it, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, also, levels. Levels are huge in this game. Levels are levels are huge and amazingly designed. There is not one place... There's not one place to camp. Um, every place where you can see someone else, someone else can see you. Uh, which is very good level design. I very much like that. Okay, geez. Uh, bots. Bots aren't the best. Bot AI... Yeah, not great, but it's still fun. Um, oh, I will tell you one problem I have with this game. If you say I s use all of my bullets and then I reload, if you switch weapons in the middle of a reload, it completely resets the reload. So even if it's like at the end, like that, it, it that that just didn't count. Um, which can get very confusing if you are 
if you have. Oh god. Uh, if uh, uh, something has a particularly long reload animation, and you don't know where it ends. Uh, that can be quite annoying, but you know, <laughs> coughing. Um, uh, but I'll probably have to edit that coughing out. Ugh. Uh, no, I won't. I won't have to edit anything out. This is a no. I'll edit that coughing out. That was an, that was bad. Ow! Oh god! Ow! Oh my god! Ow! That was that was bad. That was a bad fall. Um, right, if I were to explain this game to someone who knows nothing about first-person shooters, I'd say it was CSGO for beginners. Um, as you can see, it's set in the 1800s. That's very, that's very important. Um, because all the guns are also set in the 1800s. Like, revolvers, bows, you have bows? Um, there's some sort of, you know, not quite so accurate things, such as, uh, or like, accurate to the time period, not accurate to the aiming. Uh, things such as sniper rifle. You have a sniper rifle and, you know, stuff like that. Um, but there's nothing... You know how in most games, in most sort of generic, you know, your Call of Duty or Halo, um, that had already gotten a bullet in it. Um, in sort of Call of Duty and Halo, you have, uh, weapons are all sort of quickly shooting, um, inaccurate... Well, quickly shooting, accurate, and, uh, high damage. No, low damage. This is the opposite. Uh, it's the opposite in this. Um, in this game, guns shoot very slowly. They reload very slowly. Um, they can be deadly accurate at times. Um, and, uh, they do heaps of damage. However, um... Yeah, it's very difficult to aim. That's where most of the fun of this game comes from. It's very sort of difficult to aim. You, as you can see, uh, underneath my crosshair, my accuracy is down to 1%. That means if I shoot at this guy, I... Okay, that was a bad example, but uh, I most likely won't hit a guy if I shoot at him when I'm, like, running like that. So, there's that. This is the racist gun. Um, so I'm just going to throw that away. Ah, mare's leg. Haha. <laughs> um. Right. I'm just gonna have some fun. Oh, I was in 15th place. Th th 15th place. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Oh, also, I have the map rotating. So, maps rotating, so. That's nice. Well, it, it automatically rotates the maps. I'm not, I'm not, it's not me that has them. It's the game that has them, which is very nice. Um. <laughs> Ooh, there's another... Ooh! Why am I saying... Why am I making these weird noises? Um... If you... B bullets can pierce certain walls. So, if I, say, shoot through this, it'll come out the other side. See, there's a bullet hole there, bullet hole there. Um... I believe it also applies to this as well. Maybe not. Maybe that's a... That's a Kevlar wagon. Um, ooh, spawn right next to the gold box. That's nice. Oh, you also get safes, which hold le <laughs> melons, not lemons, um, and liquor, whiskey. Um, so let's grab a melon and attack people with it, because that's how I roll. It's a very silly game. It's nothing... It's not nearly as serious as, you know, some of the other... Some other games with cereal... Me cereal? Serious? Me se similar mechanics as this one yes uh you know such as csgo csgo is very ooh gritty kind of um uh, arma ooh but this is sort of hey uh silly dang it i forgot about that see that's the annoying part uh, about the reloading animation oh i can't pick this up oh th you also have the quick chat menu um which can be achieved by pressing your quick chat button which is c uh, you can laugh, tell people to, to tell people to draw, uh, fight and talk. Ah. Uh, you can brag. You can howl. You can say someone's a coward. You can fist fight. You can my gold, and you can shut up. Haha. <laughs> um, 
I'm getting achievements for this. You probably can't see that. I don't know if uh, OBS Studio shows achievements or not. <laughs> Guy didn't even notice I wasn't on his team. Oh, you can also explode watermelons, which is fun. Uh, realistic watermelon physics. Every melon procedural. Um... Ooh. Eh, hold on. Can I do... Can, does this work? No. Ah. Dang it. This... <laughs> come on. No. That That's such a... This game has such good attention to detail, yet, it, yet you can't even hang yourself in it. Ugh. Worst game ever. Zero out of ten. Bah. Oh, well. Mm, come on. Um... I don't know what else I should say. I have nothing to say. That's great. That's wonderful. I can make up jokes and improv. I'm not good at improv. I've I've written scripts for every every video I've made, with the exception of the Undertale one, which we shan't talk about because I've privated it. And uh, it the Undertale went the Undertale one was just embarrassing. I'll probably unprivate it soon after it, I've stopped feeling so bad about it. But um. What am I saying? Yeah, every video I've done has a script, except for this one and that one. But we won't talk about that one. Um, ah, I'm not a very good shot, as you can probably see. Uh, I used up a full drum, barrel, whatever of ammo there. Um, oh, heck. Hey, watch your language. This is a family channel. Uh, nah. I'm losing. I'm losing massively, so I'm gonna kill and eat some more people. These are, um, just targets. It's in the Old West, if you didn't, if you couldn't tell. Uh, it's not very spaghetti, but kind of spaghetti. Uh, there's actually spaghetti sound mod. It makes all these sounds really spaghetti western sounding. You know, the sort of <laughs> sound that bullets make. That sort of whizzing Sound that bullets make? What's this? I'm gonna leave that place. And close the door. No, I can't close the door. Can I pick that up? No, I can't. Worst game ever. Zero out of ten. Um. I want the Peacemaker. Uh, you can dual wield, too. That's, uh, that's important. Um, you can dual wield two weapons. It lowers your accuracy pretty far. Um, especially with the left-handed, uh with left-handedness, um, so be wary of that, but it's fun. Well, mm, ah. There we go. Oh, I can show you that thing. Uh, see how I just reloaded mine, reloaded all the bullets, this one, you just add one. Yep. I got, mm, I got another peacemaker. I can have two peacemakers. Yeah! No, no I can't. I can't have two peacemakers. Uh, that's why there was only one Gandhi. Um, right. I, I don't know what to say. That's, that's gonna be most of the video is I don't know what to say. Um, right. I don't know what to say and right. Um, take a drink every time I say no what to say. I, I don't know what to say and write or stumble over my words. Um, if you're under 21, I meant a... I meant to take a drink of milk. That's it. That's what I meant. I meant take a drink of milk. Um, that's what I meant. Parents. Uh, or if you live in the UK or like anywhere else on the planet, then take a drink when you're 18. Um, of milk. Of milk, of course. Of milk. Um... Right, isn't that right, parents? See, look. Actually, I can do that. I can do it. I, I'm going to do some three clicks Philip stuff right here. Um, this is your accuracy when walking. Or when running. Sorry, walking and running are two different things in this game. There we go. Fired all five shots um, at minimum accuracy. And now I'm going to fire all five shots at maximum accuracy. So, you can see there's quite a big difference. Yeah. Uh, you can also... Oh, crap! Ah. 
You can also sort of, um, uh, the fast fire thing also decreases your accuracy, so it looks like that. Um, uh, goes sort of up there. Um, I guess you can compensate for that recoil, uh, if you were a CSGO player, but I'm not, so, you know. Yeah! Yeah! I'm so proud not to have played CSGO. I really want to have played CSGO. It's, it seems like a very good game, but I, I'm, I'm poor. So, I'm not poor, but I am. I, 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 I don't... Whatever, shut up! Shut up with your straw man. There we go. Ah. I don't like how you get... S travel so much slower... Slower? Slower... Uh, when holding a watermelon. Watermelons aren't all that heavy. I don't know, maybe I've eaten some light watermelons, but, uh, this isn't the heaviness of a watermelon. Yeah. Yeah. You can also punch watermelons. If you can punch them correctly. There we go. Huh, the, I guess the horse was sort of, uh, remotely attached to that watermelon. Is that a thing? Is that a s thing? Th thing? Whoa! Flies? There are flies in this game! There are flies in this game! Best game ever! Uh, 10 out of 10. Um. There we go. You can see I, I just drank. I, I already demonstrated that. Why am I showing it to you again? Oh, hey, there's a guy there. Ah. Yeah. Um. Not a lot of cop, top, top, uh, shots to kill someone, but a lot of accuracy must be... A lot of care must be taken with each shot. Each shot must be treated like a gentle baby. Um, you must treat each bullet like a baby and thrust it into the chin of your enemies. Um, yeah, don't thrust your baby into the chin of other people's enemies. Of No, of your enemies. Don't thrust your baby into other people's chins. That's not that's not very good. Ow. Um and it'll probably do more damage to the baby than to the than to the uh to the dude that you're damaging. Wow. This is uh it's bulletproof glass. I didn't know they had that in the 1830s. Yeah. Have I demonstrated that you can shoot through walls yet? I I don't think I no, that was that pole earlier. Right, now I remember. This is why this is why I script videos. Because I then I then I don't do things like that. Have I shot through this glass? No, that is completely 100 percent bulletproof glass. And that's kinda ridiculous. Oh wait, hold on. Shoot there. Hang on! No, 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 Okay, you don't- you shut up. Um... Ah... I was gonna say, that didn't quite match up. With the outside and the... Nah. Yay, I was the most drunk! Um... Yeah. There's some- there's some good music and some bad music in this game. Um... I hope that's in the in game, that fly. Uh, if you can hear that fly at all. Fun fact, you can't punch stuff that's in your hands. Whee! Okay. Um Can I shoot this tea kettle? Wow. Oh, pot, whatever. Tea kettle, pot, what what's the difference? I I'm not in the England K. England K. That's, um, see, uh, it turns out England actually had, um, so many colonies at one point that they just started naming them names of letters. So, you know, uh, the England that was in the British Isles was called England, did I, did I explode my gun? Was called England A, uh, the... America was England B and so on. So uh yeah, England K was a was a British colony. True facts. 
Ow. Oh well. Um. See, that's my kind of humor. I make up stuff. Um. I mess up my voice, and then I work with that. I try to go, huh, how can I turn this into something? And then I turn it into something, and I'm like, huh, I just turned that into something. Um, yes. Should I record something else during this? Uh, I should probably record a portal video. How'd that sound? How's that sound to y'all? To y'all. Y'all. Uh, I say y'all, like, unironically. And that always throws people off. Like, what are you saying, y'all? Um, <laughs> what are y'all saying y'all for? Uh, not go through. That doesn't go through. That's a shame. Um, yeah. People hear me say y'all and they go, well, what are y'all saying y'all for? And I'm saying, that's incorrect use of y'all. Y'all is plural. And they're like, shut up. And I'm like, no, you. And they're like, well, uh, touche. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know what that was all about. Uh, this is gonna be more of a, this was a stream of consciousy sort of video. Um, how, when should I end this off? How long have I been recording for? I'm guessing around 20 minutes, uh, based on, uh, around 20, 23 minutes? Based on the fact that time left is, uh, I don't know, I can check. Uh, no, I, I can't check because people are shooting me. I can't check, crap. Um... I don't have a way to check how long I've been recording. That's something I should fix so bad. I I should fix it bad. I should I should really fix it. I shouldn't fix it badly. See, the uh, bolt went through that tree. Yes. Tier 1 weapons are in the blue chests. Um I want to grab myself a smith. Okay, fine. Smith carbine, but no, fine. Just killing eight me. Killing eight. Detonate, kill a doom, kill a doom. Oh, that, that's the new um, that's the SI measurement for doom, uh, is kill a dooms. Um, yes, it's uh, it was chosen because the doom was just too small. Um, yeah. Uh, no. What 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 would what would a doom be a measurement for? It would be, it'd be like you know uh, huh. ooh, what would it be? Hmm. Trying to think about what Doom would be a unit of measurement for. Of, um, Zimminess. You're on my team, I'm sorry. Of Invader Zimness. That's what a Doom is measurement of. It's, um, measure of how much someone likes Invader Zim. Um, if they. If they are just sort of like, uh, eh, uh, eh, that's okay. Then that's one Doom. But uh, if they're like, if they act like Gur, the character Gur, you know, that stupid robot. Um, not stupid as in pointless, stupid as in actually dumb and useless as a robot. Ha ha! I did it! I've always wanted to do that. Um, right. <gasps> oh, I wonder. Yes! Ha ha! Okay, that was great. That was brilliant, and you've probably uh, just thrown up. Um, oh, that's really good. All right, this game is now flawless. Whatever flaws this game has, it doesn't have them. Um, because that, that is just too good. That is way too good. Ah, oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> it's so good. Um. Oh, I should probably um, point that out. Uh, is that... Ah, fine. Um, if you fire a shot, then smoke... Yeah, a trail of smoke follows your gun, which is a good way of tracking down people who've just shot you. Um, it also looks cool, uh, which is most important. Oh, I can't turn that crank. Can't turn that crank either. Worst game ever. Zero out of ten. Um, zero out of zero, which is a ten out of ten because of, of math. Ow. Okay, that's enough. Um, right. Four minutes and 24 seconds left. I'm doing well of this round. I probably shouldn't go through the whole map listing because, uh... Ah. You know what? Whenever something really spectacular happens, then uh, I'm gonna 
Leave it off there. I don't know what, but something really spectacular. Alright, well, uh, if, um, if unbreakable glass bottles aren't spectacular, then, uh, that's... And I don't know what is. So, goodbye everybody, my name has been Austin Artesius, and from me and this sad, droopy gentleman, goodbye.